Assalamu alaikum. I like them again. I just had another idea. Well, I had been thinking about this for a little while, but uh, I decided I'm going to do a little blurb about questions that might be in some people's heads about uh, why uh, Muslim women cover themselves. But I have not personally been asked all of these, but I'm sure they're in the minds of some people. Someone would ask me, I'm sure they're thinking when they see me or other Muslim women in a hijab or a kimar, does your husband make you do that? My answer is, husband? Do I have one? I didn't know I did. Someone needs to tell me these things. Or another question might be, uh, does your father force you to uh, cover yourself? My answer would be, I've only been Muslim for a few months. My dad died a year and a month ago from cancer, so obviously he couldn't tell me, and he's not. He was never Muslim. He was a Methodist turned uh, not so practicing Catholic. Another one might be uh, Do you have to wear that thing all the time? I said, Well, yeah, when you are around uh, non Muslim men and around uh, Muslim men who are not your uh, mahram or uh, close relatives. But I also wear it even at home because I live in a building with uh, multiple couples and singles and families. And uh, even though I'm on the third floor, people could still look up and uh, see me. And uh, so that's why I wear it all the time. And I did laundry, and I wore when I went down to the laundry room to do my laundry. And uh, I also just plain like to wear a hijab. So that answers that question. Plus, it, it gives me a, a little extra warmth on my head so I won't have to turn my heater up so much. But another question would probably come up. I don't know, maybe some people are thinking, uh, where are you from? Well, tell me the year and I'll tell you where I was. I moved a lot in my life. But I've been in Des Moines for a little while. Although I've never been asked that personally, but uh, I had one bus driver tell me, it's a shame you have to, you cover your hair, it's so beautiful. I didn't respond then. That was not too long after I converted. But uh, I just kind of went off on a different subject. And I didn't want to distract a bus driver from doing her job. But uh, to me, it's a shame not to. Before I converted, I got honked at. I got whistled at. I got cat calls, I got yelled at, and uh, I'm not a sexually attractive woman. I'm, I'll be the first to admit it. But I got that, and then I thought, you know, well, it's starting to get cooler, so I'm going to start dressing more modestly and see if that will cut some of that out. And it did cut some of that out, but I still got a little bit of that unwanted attention. But since I started wearing a hijab out, you know, out in public, except for when I meet my sisters and my mom. None of them know I'm Muslim yet. But uh, I've really cut down on that and wanted attention, and I'm happy about it. The only attention I want right now is from Allah. And uh, I'm happy with that. So, uh, And I suppose some others are probably uh, got weird other thoughts, you know, why... I might wear a long dress with pants under it. And my answer right now is it's cold outside. A, and a baya or a jilbab alone isn't going to cut it. It's not going to cut the cold. You know, so I do it for both modesty and practicality. Islam is a practical religion, and it, and it allows me to do this. So... Uh, 
I suppose some others are probably thinking, you know, don't I have any rights? And I say, well, certain rights I don't want right now. You know, I'm not married, so I'm not eligible for all of that. But do I care? No. If I'm supposed to have a husband, I'll have one. If I'm not supposed to have a husband, I won't. You know, it may mean I might not be able to uh, go to Mecca for a Hajj, but that's a bit expensive anyway, so I'm not going to be bothering with that anytime soon. So, if I go to uh, Mecca, someone is going to have to buy my way because I can't afford it. But, uh, you know, I have rights. I just don't need to exercise them right now. You know? Someone might ask, uh, do you make your kids, your daughters wear her job? Well, my answer would be, do I have any kids? I didn't know I had any kids. I have a cat, and she doesn't wear her job. I don't think they make them small enough for a cat. So that's my thoughts on that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, so please pass it on. Women have rights. And left hands, too. <laughs> Sorry, just a little bit of humor. I'm going to go to bed, so assalamu alaikum and dovidzenya.